Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with me, Get Daved. You may not recognize where we are yet, but you will. Welcome to Dalit, everyone. I love the ocean. Oh. Passionate man. Well, good, good for you guys. I'm regretting talking to them. Set sail. I don't know why I can't walk away. There's a restaurant? See, this seems like a really good place to invade. They're aggressive, militant, primitive. Uh, okay, go for it. I don't care, but that could be an important side quest. Yeah, it looks nice. This is a very strange place. So this is the beach. There's what's left of uh, Evil Robot Spider. Oh boy. Let's uh, let's not think too much about this now. Anyway, it is nice to see it blasted to a million pieces, though. I'm not sure if that was Galbadian. You played in hide and seek. Well, I don't know if the game's gonna let me just talk to this guy. He's in an awkward spot. I can't get. Yeah, there we go. Okay, go away and play hide and go seek. All right, so we're here just for two issues of Timber Maniacs, and then I think I've got them all, and then. We're going to have a plot explosion together, and it's going to be great. I'm regretting talking to everyone here, so I'm going to try to avoid it. The Shining Bomber. Well, let's check it out. Sure, let's chat people up one more time. Cold one after work, sure hits the spot. Huh. <laughs> Hard day of working, drinking. Oh, damn those married family men. There is one. Just casually left on this blackjack table. Want to start? Yeah, I don't know. I just asked you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. How bad could the rules be? Yeah, let's do this. No. I do not want Centra's rules spreading. And that took forever. So, uh, joke's on him. Now he's not gonna get to play cards with me. Alright, the last one, I believe, is in the hotel. Not that I remember where it is, but we're near the end of town. I'm oh, glad to see the car's fixed up. Huh, <laughs> brand new. Uh, sure. Let's hit up the junk shop. Uh, this is a pretty innocuous upgrade, so I'm just gonna grab it. Mesmerized blades are not super valuable. Man, I thought I'd at least be able to manage one more upgrade. I grabbed like a fury fury fragment off camera. Yeah, the Valkyrie. Looks like a dildo. I get that I don't have anything. Never mind. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Do they have anything fun at the shop? We might as well check. Absolutely nothing interesting. But I will buy 31 tenths. Uh, I think you can refine some good stuff out of these two. So we'll just, you know what? Let's just stock up on some of the basics. Eh, 
There we go. That should do. Now, all of those values were very carefully picked. It's a code or something. Uh, oh, hello there. Enjoy the silence. At the usual spot. Oh, Hotel Dollop. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. And I kind of want to see what's to the right because I have no memory whatsoever. You gonna make me pay? Fine. We're staying at the inn. The bell girl take y'all to your room. There we go. Boy, this game has like a lot of futuristic elements in it. They're gonna be really bummed out when they find out what's gonna happen to the magazine industry. It's the greatest fantasy of them all. And yeah, this is exciting times, everybody. The Queen of Cards sometimes hangs out somewhere around here. Oh my goodness, it looped all the way around. How convenient. All right, we're gonna run back to the garden and don't worry, we're gonna advance the plot right away too. But we're gonna run back to the garden and check something now. With Squall's fancy new gun blade, which has new limit breaks, by the way. I also, off camera, please let me down. Off camera, I did a little bit of pseudo grinding. I didn't actually intend to level up, but Squall's on like level 30 now. Um, I was trying to draw the Meltdown spell, which you can get from Galas, which are really weak enemies. They're big, but they're weak. Right outside of Trabia. And since I have Tonberry now, I have an ability on Selfie called Level Up, which doubles the enemy's level. There's also level down, which halves it, but I don't have that one equipped. So you can level up enemies so that they are stronger and have better magic, and then you can draw the better magic out. Um, they, they're they still stronger, but you know, you get more experience points and everything. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, I accidentally gained some levels. Okay, we're gonna run, get, on, just get out of the way, whatever. I'm back this way to this terminal, which of course everyone would think to do after reading a bunch of Timber Maniacs magazines. And let's see if I even remember where to look. Just like the missile mission. Garden Square. Sir Laguna's page. These are selfies notes on all the ar articles we've read. Sir Laguna. Yeah. Time he went to the editor of Timber Maniacs. Hmm. How'd it work? Tried to get to Esthar. Well, that's topical. Esthar's secret. Okay, that's like the place he visited. We saw him run around there. Mm hmm. Welcome to Esthar. He found a way. Yeah, got in a little bit of trouble there. The hotel in Balam. Hmm. With the Shumi tribe, we know about that. Okay, we've been to the center ruins. 
<laughs> Yay! There are tons of monsters. <laughs> nice. Wrote a puff piece about himself. There we go. No name or location is written down, but we know. Yeah, I guess he published something. Okay, so we went to FH to reach Esthar. On foot. Did I miss one? All right. I was actually missing one Timber Maniacs magazine, but we got the information we needed. The path to Esthar goes through Fisherman's Horizon and we know Lagoon has taken it at least. Because we didn't have all those details before. So, to FH. And I think the magazine I'm missing is in the Hotel and Timber, because I was very uncertain whether or not I got that, and I just counted 11 articles, so we're missing one. But it's okay, there's no huge spoilers there, and... or no huge reveals. But... we have a little bit of a timeline for Laguna, which we'll be able to make sense of later. Do you know what's been told to you? I bet you don't. There's some stupid theories about Final Fantasy VIII, but the game also has some intentional ambiguities, and uh, they are there to be discovered. And that's all I have to say about that. Let's go find FH. Probably not going to be this way. Good start, Dave. We just have to get back on the ocean. I'm going to fit through here. I don't think it's going to work. That's fine. This is fine. This is how I like to fly my giant school. Which sounds silly when you say it that way. But uh, the game's playing it with a straight face. Which is something I've come full circle on, in terms of appreciating. For a while, I was like, oh, I don't know. Typical irony-loving, sitting on the, at the back desk in the, in the classroom, poking fun at things and not taking stuff too seriously. But you know what? Um... Better to be sincere and mocked or cheesy or like any of those things. Uh, better that, because sitting back and noticing it all, it adds nothing. Alright, I think we can just park by colliding with it. And onward. All right, alone will bring us together. Maybe uh, not the coolest way, but. So a thing I like about having teenage characters, is the sense of responsibility, it's kind of there. But you know what? Our boy Squall just said, screw it all. This is what he's going to do with his life now. No, seriously, he's done with them. He needs his... his supports in place. Yeah, maybe walking this whole way <laughs> was a bad idea. That's true. You're a mess. Yep. Kind of reversed his opinion on uh, 
dispassionately keeping your distance from everyone. But it made him miserable. He hated himself that way. He had all these cares. Yeah, the leader's gone. Yeah, then they'd know you. That's true. Everybody thought he was emo, and that made it simple. He had his label. <laughs> And back to it. I think this is the first Final Fantasy games where you just up and have to walk across the whole world. Ooh. Oh yeah, princess. Yeah, thank you, Quiznos. <laughs> Gotta find a loan. Oh. Idea's coming along for the ride. Might as well check and see how Renault is doing and if Idea plays cards. Oh, I guess we're leaving. Oh. Dr. Odin. Yeah, he makes useless bangles, if I remember correctly. They're the number one brand in magical products. This video is brought to you by Squarespace and Odin Magical Goods. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, she's still got some of the power left. Well, he sounds like a wonderful man. Shouldn't we have, like, some sort of wheelbarrow? Yeah, of course the two of them went. How's it going, Squall? Hey, you seem like you have a glow about you. Yeah, she's still asleep. <laughs> hey, thanks. I'm sure that won't make him more lonely. <laughs> Whatever. Look at him laying off the teasing. But I mean, Irvin always recognized the gravitas when there's trouble with a lady. Well... Let's try going east next. Doesn't this track only go east? I mean, doll, it's clearly to the way, eh, whatever. Let's take Idea out for a spin. Swap it in for Renoa, I guess. And Quiznos is now severely lacking in level, so let's get her up to speed, shall we? And we're just gonna put that on Quistus because I can't stand the idea of Idea mugging someone. And also, we're just gonna bump it up a little bit. There we go, that's pretty good. And I have been slowly working on fleshing out the magic for the non-party characters so I can just have, oh, oh, they're, they're gone, gone. I don't know, we'll have to take the magic off of idea, I guess. I wonder if I'm gonna lose it all if she leaves the party. That would be extremely disappoint. But yeah, we've got her as a party member now, so you can check out her stuff. Um, big surprise, her limit break is hurling ice. I think you've seen it in action. Also, I have Encounter None on right now, so I'm just going to downgrade that. Because there's some interesting enemies, by which I mean two. Well, let's check out this 
Salt Lake lack of a city. Hmm? That's not an emulation glitch, everyone. That's right. Don't be afraid to kill you. Got it. Well, to be honest, the difference in personality is pretty stark. Yeah, just wail on you for a bit. Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> uh oh. It's like a picnic. We're gonna have fun. So let's not talk about it. I think that's practical. Another. Okay. Thanks, game. And junction. Ability. Count none. Put that on half. Uh, oh, she might be getting some level ups. We'll see. It's only 30 hit points she's missing out on per level up. I care a lot more about a stat like strength. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna climb this skeleton. Okay, I didn't know I could go this way. Oh my goodness. We can recreate the plot of FF7 with that. I actually quite like this song as well. It's not really an upper, but... Oh, there it is. Not enough combat to sustain an A rank. This is a pretty short area, to be honest. Not sure how to get up there. I'm mostly wandering aimlessly, just so you know. There's not something I know that you don't. Okay! Good news, everyone! It's a bone monster! Which is the name of my best move. Alright. Oh yeah, Squall's got a fancy new... Here's Phoenix Town! Yeah, you can one-shot this chump. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of Dispel. We got all the good stuff. Might as well try mugging him. I don't know if he has anything good. Oh goodness. His... Okay, Power Rest is pretty good. Um... You know what? This calls for Meltdown. Uh, I'm a little tempted. Let's level him up. Let's see if that works. Alright, so now he's in the Vitality Zero status element. So this is a really stupid idea, but I just... Okay. I tempted to level him up. I'm kind of glad it didn't work. It takes a lot of pressure off me. Okay, he doesn't get any better, better magic. I'm gonna put a D at a critical because I really want you to see her limit break while we got the chance. Alright, that should do it. I'm gonna have to have her attack herself, she's not low enough. Okay. Oh, he knows. He knows his life depends on getting rid of that. I'm fine with it. All right, Ice Strike. What would that do? So he's got 255 vitality now. I kind of wish it did magical damage.
Okay, this could be bad. Alright. Problem solved. And we're just gonna wait for the Vitality Zero to go back on. I got it all planned out. So yeah, Meltdown. Is useful because it gives the enemy no defense at all. And there's nothing they can do except cast SNA. It looks really cool. It's actually not that powerful, but combined with Aura, which wore off pretty quickly. There it is. <laughs> A little bit of a potency increase. So I know it looked bad when Squall took the ice in the chest, but I'd like to say he handled it better than this chump. There it is. I like to imagine Squall trims a little bit of hair every time he bounces that gunblade on his shoulder. We got a lot of us. Hey, not bad. 40 AP. For some reason, I thought you could draw a flare from him, but that might be at a higher level. Ooh. Remember how futuristic it looked in the picture? Wow, they're really counting on that cloaking device or whatever to work. Because I kind of figured there'd be some sort of god. Well, up we go. They appear to be very partial to hexagons. Well, they haven't invented a fast elevator. Or maybe they haven't, they're just not using it here. You'd think we'd at least have brought like one of those airplane pillows for her. Well, I think you're there, man. No, no comment? Is the game secretly loading? So they have this thing where they can cycle through... Oh, there we go. Different, like toggling different invisibilities of things in the background and so they're doing that to create the elevator effect by rapidly cycling through a whole bunch of similar ones. Looks like we're here. Not even another Abaddon. Oh good, another elevator. Alright, so I interpret this as not the entire cloak is deactivated, just that like squalls on the other side of the barrier. My goodness. It's a pretty big city. Oh thank goodness there's a safety rail. Oh my goodness. Also, I like how it rotated. Well, maybe it was the camera angle. I thought it flipped sideways. And I apologize for knocking the elevator. It's 
very expedient. All right, everyone. Next time, we go through the door. I'll see you there.